ahead. It's time for the NBA live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. We'll see the Houston Rockets facing the Indiana Pacers. Here's the starting group for Houston. Thorpe is out there with Ori. And it's Smith. Then it's Elijah Wan. And it's Maxwell in at the shooting guard position. Now here is Hill. Wes setting the pick for Hill. Elijah Wan with the block. Without a doubt, one of the most versatile shot blockers in the game. Elijah Wan does it in the painted area as well as along the perimeter. Smith against Hill. Smith the pass to Thorpe. Here's Maxwell. Elijah Wan on the wing. Covered by Hibbert. Elijah Wan's shot is good. And that's just too deep. Uh, Elijah Wan with way too many moves in there. Almost automatic. Smith against Hill. Hibbert dishes to George. Pass to Hill. Six to shoot. It's up a three. And there's George. That's good on the assist by Hill. It can't leave any room for Paul George outside. He will deliver from deep. Here's Maxwell. It's rebounded by West. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. George against Maxwell. Picked by West. Beyond the arc. George, no good. Ori with it. And the pass to Thorpe. Thorpe with a screen on George. Driving to the basket. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's a call. It's on Indiana with the foul. Houston shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. good Maxwell yeah just an athletic competitor on both ends of the floor Maxwell can guard both backcourt positions and has a number of ways he can score both free throws good for Maxwell and so here is Indiana And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And Turner kicks it to West. West to screen on Smith. Hill. Nice rebound by Thorpe. The Rockets depend on him for those. Smith feeling it out a bit. Hibbert against Elijah Wan. For three, Smith. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. That one on Hill. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. And Indiana making a change here. Watson's checked in. And he nails the third. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Pacers trail by three. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Turner finds Hibbert. Indiana moving it around. Indiana again missing. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Maxwell against George. And Hibbert with the block. Shoots it. George, no good. 
Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Out to Smith. Back to Ori. Shot clock at six. Elijah on the pass to Ori. That's good. It's Elijah on with the assist. And I love whenever Ori rises up from there. His jump shot is so pure, the D has to respect it. Now here's Hibbert. Hasn't made one yet. Picked off in midair. Now here is Smith. He's covered by Watson. Passes it to Elijah Wan. Over Hibbert. Elijah Wan can't hit. Pacers trail by six. To the paint, trying to get something going. In deep, Turner drops it in. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Here's Maxwell. He dishes it to Smith. Over Watson. And too long on the shot. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Now here's Watson. Ori defending. Watson dishes to West. Lock at six. Outside Turner. Three-pointer. Knocks down the three ball. Turner's got five now. And becoming more of a facilitator, West finds his man that time. Pass to Thorpe. Here's Maxwell. Thorpe with a screen on George. The three from Maxwell. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. That one on George. The Rockets have been good at the line so far, five of five. And the first one drops. He's off on the second. And he nails the third. Pacers trail by three. Watson surveying the D. Dishes it to Turner. On the wing, George. West setting the pick for George. And Thorpe pulls it down. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Now, here is Smith. He has five. Six on the shot clock. Elijah on right side. And the layup falls. Such a graceful player. Uh, Hakeem is, is light off the ground there for that rebound. And then the skill to send that one home. Watson with it. Covered by Smith. Outside Turner. Hibbert with a screen on Ori. Outside, George takes the three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Well, Paul George able to keep that shot high in the air. This is a dangerous long-range bomber. Smith outside. Here's Maxwell. Pass to Elijah on. For Hibbert. And it's Elijah Wan missing. Indiana trailing here. On the wing, George. Corey defending. And it's the Rockets on the break. Here's Maxwell. Good, and it's Ori picking up the assist. Maxwell's got six points. 
You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Hibbert with the screen on Maxwell. And the Pacers tack on two more. Uh, how good is Paul George at getting separation? He uses the screen perfectly and sticks it to the defense. Now here is Smith. Five points in the game. Tries from 16, and it's Houston with another. And likes the view from there. He, he's a strong mid-range shooter. Well, sometimes when you've got size, your release point is so high that you're going to get a good look no matter what. Here's Watson. Still scoreless. Back to George. Hibbert with a screen for George. A three ball. And uh, Akeem Olajuwon pulls it down. Maxwell kicks to Smith. Into the lane. And the dunk by Smith. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Houston leading by six. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. Elijah Wan inside. He's covered by Watson. And the basket by Elijah Wan. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Now here's Watson, covered by Smith. Feeds to West. Over Thorpe. Bank shot, no good. Corey with it. The pass to Maxwell. Thorpe with a screen on George. Maxwell, the pass to Thorpe. Good on the shot. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Now here's West. Scoreless thus far. Indiana making some changes. Luis Scola, he's checked in for West, and it's Williams in for Turner. The Rockets also changing it up. Bullard, he's checked in for Elijah Wan. Ellie comes in for Ori. And it's Cassell in for Maxwell. Now, here's Watson. He's covered closely, down low. Here's Hibbert, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. On offense, here are the Rockets. They're on a 14-5 run. Passes to Cassell. Over Watson. Cassell, no good. Pacers trail by 10. From deep, George. Rebound by Smith. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Goes to Bullard. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for time approaching out, this out. game with the right energy and intensity. This team has Hard. attacked every chance they've gotten. So timeout called here, the first for Indiana. Some changes for Indiana. Miami comes in for Roy Hibbert. Davis is subbed in for Williams. And then for Houston, Elijah Wan's checked in for Thorpe, and Brooks subbed in for Smith. There's 117 left here in the first quarter. Scola sets a screen for George. Pass to Scola. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Johnson is checked in for Davis. Now the Rockets with it. They're on a 16 to 5 run. Gazelle the pass to Bullard. At the elbow, Elijah Wan. 55 seconds left in the first. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5 for 8 clip. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. 
And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now, here is George. Eight points for him. Count it. George has got ten. We call that money from the mid-range. PG doing his thing in the sweet spot. Gazelle, the pass to Ellie. Here's Bullard. The pass to Ellie. Elijah with a screen for Brooks. Elijah can't hit. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Outside Scola, the shot. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. What a slick look by Paul George. Defense expecting him to shoot, but he decides otherwise. Hakeem Olajuwon has been leading the charge for the Houston Rockets. He got the double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Back to the action in just a minute. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Rockets. So far in this one, guys, it's been the shooting. In particular, from mid-range. That has been huge for them. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. Pacers trail by 10. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets starting the second. Bullard is out there with Elijah on. Then there's Ellie. Then it's Cassell. And it's Brooks in at the point. Now here is George. Back to Jones. And that'll be Indiana as it goes out of bounds. Pacers retain possession. And, and he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Smith checked in for Jones. Watson with it. Brooks covering. Watson's shot is off. Pass to Bullard. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Rockets lead by 12. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Mahimi, a screen on Cassell. George, that's a two-pointer. Basket number five goes in. He's now 5 of 12 from the floor. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Here's Cassell, still without a basket. Inside, here's Elijah on. The shot's good, Cassell making the play. Oh, great at finding open teammates. You want Cassell feeding the shooters. On the wing, George. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second, and the shot goes down. George has got four this quarter. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Pass to Ellie. Elijah on right side. Goes back up. And the layup is good. Hakeem shot over 50% from the floor for his career. And he's around there right now. Watson the bounce pass. Outside, George. Skola sets a screen for George. George missing again. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Let's the three fly. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. 
Scola, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Defensive. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. David West, he's checked in for Indiana. Turner comes in for Smith. And then for Houston, Ori comes in for Bullard. And it's Maxwell in for Brooks. One shot. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Cassell. He's covered by Watson. And all about timing for West on the block. He anticipates the shot and acts at just the right moment. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Rockets leading by 10. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Another miss by Houston. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Pacers. Now Watson. He has yet to score. Pass to Scola. George with a screen on Ori. Shot clock at six. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And here's Watson. West kicks to Turner, just five on the clock. Scola, a screen on Maxwell. Turner for three, drops in the tray. Turner's got it back down to within single digits for Indiana. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Now the pass to Ellie, to the middle. Here's Elijah Wong. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Here's Watson. Outside Scola. No one near Turner as he lets it go. No good on the triple. Houston leading by nine. Fires for three. Hits it from three-point range. Well, he's got his first three points of the game. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. George dishes to Watson. Back to George. Six to shoot. Skolas has a screen for Turner. Turner can't get that one to fall. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? Elijah on against West. To the left side wing. And here's Maxwell for three. Oh, through the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. He shot well from the line tonight, going four for five. Roy Hibbert's checked in for Indiana. And a change for the Rockets. Forbes checked in. And he can't make it. Three for three. Pacers trail by 14. Passes it to George. Indiana moving the ball around. West draws the double. Hibbert the pass to George. West to screen on Ori. The feed to West. To halt the run. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. George has got five assists in the game. 
Here's Cassell. Pass to Orr. Oijawan, left side. The Pacers pull it in. Hibbert's got six rebounds now in the game. And Turner kicks to George. Back to Turner. Pass to West. Let's it fly from 18. Oijawan grabs the miss. Olajuwon's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Cassell. Here's the pass to Maxwell. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Now here's Watson. He's guarded by Olajuwon. Passes it to George. Hibbert with it. And he lays it straight in. Hibbert's got his first two points. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. George against Maxwell. Pass to Cassell. Over Watson. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Cassell's got five points now in the quarter. Oh, agile play from Cassell down low. Finding a high percentage look there. Now, here's Watson. Nothing on the board. Turner finds West. The three from George. Akeem Olajuwon with the rebound. Olajuwon's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Maxwell, the pass to Cassell. Ori with it. Elijah on right side. That's down the hatch. Knocks one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. And it's Watson with the ball for Indiana. They trail by 14. Pass to George. Ori against Turner. Back to George. Hibbert with a screen for George. Takes a three. Connects from three-point range. George has got 17 now. You know, a guy with that size from the downtown three-point area. No chance for a defender to alter that shot. Timeout called the Rockets. Pacers. Luis Scola, he's checked in for George, and it's Hill in for C.J. Watson. Bullard, he's checked in for Houston. Smith comes in for Cassell. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, the league says it wants every team to play to win, but All-Star Kevin Durant said it's just not realistic, adding, each year, only a few teams can win it. If you're not going to be a playoff or play-in team, might as well go for a top pick, get some reps for guys who ordinarily wouldn't make the rotation, and maybe change their lives as well. Kevin? And that's an interesting take. Thanks, D.A. Here's Smith after David West's bucket. And there's the pass to Maxwell. 
There's a screen. Passes to Bullard. Houston needs to get a shot. Top of the key. Maxwell's shot is no good. Pacers trail by nine. Now Hill. Pass to West. And here's Hibbert. The jump hook. The shot's good on the assist by West. Pockets leading by seven. Smith outside. Pass to Maxwell. Outside, Ori. Good on the three-point shot. Ori's got six. And Ori is the textbook stretch for a big man with range for days. Hill looking it over. Scola finds West on the wing turner. West a screen on Maxwell. Here's Turner back to West. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. West has got six in the quarter. In the paint, West has a great mix of size and flexibility. So he has multiple ways to get around the defense. Maxwell's shot is no good. Pacers trail by eight. West outside. Scola dishes to Hill. Kicks it to West. Hill against Smith. Hill inside. Second shot opportunity in Scola with the layup. He has seven. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Smith against Hill. Smith the pass to Maxwell. There's the pick. Fires from deep. It's the three-point bomb. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now here's Skola. Seven points in the game. West setting the pick for Turner. Back to West. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got his fourth assist in this one. Houston leading by seven. Here's Maxwell. He's got 11. Thorpe with a screen on Turner. And here's Maxwell for three. And so it's Houston headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Hakeem Olajuwon has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. We've got Roy Hibbert. Hill is out there with George. Then there's West. And it's Turner in at the three. That's the group starting the second half for Frank Vogel. Now Smith, George Hill missing on the three. 
Thorpe with a screen on him. For three, Smith. A three-pointer is right on target. Smith's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Rockets. The pass to West. It's Turner high post. Outside Hill. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Thorpe's got rebound number eight now on the night. Ori gets the bucket. Ori's got eight points. Nice possession. Ori getting the close look to go. On the wing, George. He's guarded by Maxwell. George, no good. Rockets leading by 12. Passes it to Maxwell. Houston moving it around. A slam dunk by Thorpe. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. West outside. And it's Hibbert, top of the key. The dish to George. And they get it. Second chance shot. And he makes good on the layup. Six points for him. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Hill against Smith. Here's Elijah on. Roy Hibbert with the rebound. Hibbert's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Hill against Smith. The three from George. Gets the three-pointer to fall. George has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Indiana. Hill against Smith. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Elijah Wan. Good. Nice job down low. 20 points for Hakeem Elijah Wan. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now, here is Hill. West outside. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And Hill, the bucket on the assist by George. George has got six assists now in the game. Well, you love how Hill shoots it immediately off the pass. Just exceptional timing from the crafty guard. Smith against Hill. Pass to Maxwell. Here's Thorpe. That one doesn't go. West with some nice D. George dishes to Hibbert. Outside Turner. Pass to West. The Rockets pull it in. Outside, Ori. The pass to Maxwell. Nice move. Another shot. And Elijah Wan finishes inside. Elijah Wan's got 22 points. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. And George gets it to go. Making a huge difference from deep tonight. That was a big time shot. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from. And they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. The scoring breakdown for the Rockets. You love how they've lived in the paint, making the Shoot defense two. just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. hits them both. And here is Hill. He has six. Pass 
passes it to West. Here's Hibbert. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Hibbert's got eight points. And it really can't complain about the D there. That's just all Hibbert keeping his focus and able to convert. It helps that his shot is just about impossible to block. Here's Maxwell. 11 points in the game. Good. 13 points in the game. Well, this guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for Indiana. Nine-point game. Outside Turner. Get the teardrop. Good. The assist goes to Hill. Hill's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. George against Maxwell. To the inside, Thorpe. A shot, no good. West with some nice D. George against Maxwell. That's good. The Houston lead is cut to just five on the basket from George. Boy, what focus. Little contact there. Paul George not deterred. Smith wide open. He fires. Three pointers off the mark. And here are the bases now. Here's Hill. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Kenny Smith. Now George Hill forces the action inside. Terrific control in the paint, and he earns the call thanks to his aggressiveness. Free throw drops for Hill. The leadership that George Hill offers is invaluable. This guy is a phenomenal floor general. The Pacers making a switch here. Watson's checked in. Casale is checked in for Houston. Both free throws good from Hill. Rockets leading by three. Smith outside. Pass to Maxwell. There's the three. Sinks the triple. Maxwell's got five points now this quarter. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Pass to Hibbert. He kicks it to Watson. Back to West. Here's Hill. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Hill's got 10. Well, George Hill has always had a beautiful jumper, and this mid-range just as solid as the long range. Turner against Maxwell. There's the pass to Cassell. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Now, here's Watson, covered by Smith. Pass to West. Over Ori. Ori with the rebound. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. This guy, a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. And Turner kicks to Watson. Indiana moving the ball around. And then Hibbert with the dunk. That gives him a double-double in this one. 10 points and 11 rebounds. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Tries from 10. And Hibbert with the block. Turner against Smith. Turner passes to Hill. Now Watson for three. And Thorpe pulls it down. Thorpe's got nine rebounds now tonight. 
Down the basket by Maxwell. The three-pointer becomes a very high percentage shot when he's that wide open. You better get a hand in his face. Now here's Watson covered by Smith. Now here's Watson. No scoring in this one. Here's West. It's rebounded by Houston. Thorpe's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Smith against Turner. Smith the pass to Maxwell. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And now an 11-point Rocket lead. And you can see he's found his rhythm here in the third quarter. You can just sense the uptick in confidence. Everything he puts up from long range seems to be going. Now here is Hill. Ten points for him. Watson's shot is off. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Thorpe against Hibbert. Thorpe, the pass to Cassell. Shot clock at five. Pull from the top of the key. The shot will not fall. Pacers trail by 11. Watson with it. Pass to West. Two minutes. Over Smith. That's good from West on the assist by Watson. That's 10 points for David West. Well, that is just brute strength by West, powering through the contact inside. Maxwell, the pass to Thorpe. Pacers with the rebound. Hibbert's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Hill against Cassell. Hill inside. Over Cassell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, George Hill just so savvy. Gets the defender into the air and draws the contact. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Free throw drops for Hill. And some changes here for the Pacers. Scola comes in for West. And it's Paul George in for Evan Turner. Houston with a big group substitution here. Elijah Wan's checked in for Thorpe. Bullard comes in for Ori. Ellie's checked in for Maxwell. And Brooks subbed in for Smith. Both free throws good from Hill. Rockets leading by seven. Here's Cassell. He's got five. Pass to Ellie. 109 left in the third quarter. No good on the three. Cassell's gone two for seven, struggling a bit. George dishes to Watson. And the pass to Scola. Releases from 15. Nice jump shot. Good. Skull has got nine points. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. You know, he's kept attacking even when they've been trailing. Here's Cassell. The Rockets with another miss. And it's Watson with the ball for the base. Trailing by five to the paint. Here's Hibbert. The shot's good on the assist by George. George has got his seventh assist in the game. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. And it's Hill penetrating. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the foul against Houston. Indiana shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game.
free throw drops for Hill. Both free throws good from Hill. Brooks outside. Passes it to Elijah Wan. Chalk up two there. And that's now 24 points for Hakeem Elijah Wan. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0. Oh, 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 he nailed it. That's a miracle. Are you kidding me? Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for Indiana. He's at the quarter century mark, 25 points for him in this game, as they have looked to him over and over to make things happen. We'll return shortly. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. quarter on the court for the Rockets. Brooks is out there with Cassell. Then there's Bullard. Then there's Ellie. And it's Elijah Wan into the five down low. Ellie against Williams. Ellie passes to Elijah Wan. Now Williams. Outside for George. Williams has a screen for George. Back to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Watson's shot is off. Watson's gone just one of four from deep. Pass to Bowler. Scola with the rebound. Scola's got his fifth rebound in this one. Get there, get there. To take the lead. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. Scola's got the lead up to two now for Indiana. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. Down low. And the dunk by Scola. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Now here's Scope. Williams finds George. Back to Williams. Now here's Watson. Shoots over Elijah. And Watson with the basket on the assist by Williams. And the Pacers lead by four. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. It doesn't matter. Just make shots. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Roy Hibbert's checked in for the Pacers. Davis comes in for Williams. And a switch here also for Houston. Thorpe, he checked in for Bullock. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. This is a case where it's just the pure strength of Paul George, able to fight through contact so well on these shots. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. I also like how they've played in the painted area. They've made an effort to work on the inside and convert those chances. George, no good on the free throw. You cannot give Paul George these extra chances. This guy is deadly from the free throw line throughout his career. Thorpe with a screen on George. Inside. It's deflected. Elijah Wan. Basket good. Elijah Wan's got 10 points in just the second half. 
And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Here's Cassell after Luis Scola's score. Back to Brooks. Let's it go from deep. Hibbert pulls it in. Hibbert's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Davis looking for an opening. Kicks to George. George double team. Here's Hibbert. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Rockets trail by six. To the middle. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on George. And the thing about Thor, I mean, as strong as he is, he's extremely agile. I mean, really gets up and down the floor beautifully. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Pacers leading by five. And here's George. It's tipped. And there it is for him. Here's Cassell. Pass to Ellie. He feeds it to Elijah Wong. Sent home by Akeem in a thunderous way. I mean, I hope you can appreciate the torque that that kind of move generates. He, he just has that natural explosiveness. The dream is something to behold. Watson's shot is off. Rockets trail by five. Here's Ellie. Wants to get it to Elijah Wan and does. Now the pass to Cassell. For the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Oh, good look there as well. And this is what Hakeem's worked on. Pay too much attention to him, and he'll burn you with a nice find. Now, here's George. Davis with a screen on Cassell. Passes it to Watson. Screen by Scoa. And that's Hakeem with the steal. Now, here's Brooks. Pass to Thorpe. Back to Brooks. Houston moving it around. There's a good screen. Cassell, just five to shoot. And another three for Houston. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. Elijah on finds Brooks. The Pacers pull it in. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Here's Cassell. To the paint. George with the ball. Hibbert with a screen on Cassell, and George gets it to go. You've allowed Paul George to lock in and get his rhythm. Now you better start to stop him. Brooks the pass to Cassell. Here's Brooks. Here's Ellie. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. line for two.
shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Indiana. West is checked in for Scola. Turner comes in for Davis. And George Hills subbed in for C.J. Watson. Houston also making some changes. Or is checked in for Cassell. And Smith subbed in for Brooks. And both free throws good for Ellie. And so here is Indiana. Hill kicks it to West. Pass to George. Launches a three. Elijah Wan grabs the miss. So it's the Rockets now. Here's Ori. Count that one. Robert Ori. Now Hill. The pass to Hibbert. George with the ball. George double teamed. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Maxwell is checked in for Ellen. Number 11, Vernon Maxwell. Houston in the lead. Smith outside. Maxwell the pass to Elijah Wan. Over George. Pacers with the rebound. George has got his fifth rebound in this one. He kicks it to Hill. Passes it to Hibbert. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Elijah Wan's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Pass to Smith. Back to Ord. Pass to Maxwell. Five to shoot. A three. Hill pulls it in. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for Indiana. Trailing by two. Outside Turner. And there's the pass to Hibbert. The shot. No good. Turner against Smith. Passes to Thorpe. Over Hill. Thorpe, that's good. And the Rockets lead by four. Great move. This is what you get when Thorpe's being aggressive. He's a high percentage shooter in that painted area. It's back to Hill. With some arc, Elijah Wan with the block. Smith against Hill. Smith the pass to Thorpe. Back to Smith. Houston moving the ball around. Yep, that one goes in there. And it's a six-point rocket lead. It's been several possessions since they've converted. And they've got to find a way to change that. Timeout called the Pacers.
Welcome the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, guys, during that last timeout, I listened to Frank Vogel talk to his team. Coach wants them to do a better job defending the perimeter. He said we're late on our rotations, and they're getting great looks because of it. we got to fight through it. we got to take away the three. We're good. Guys? Thank you, David. On defense, the Rockets, the biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Outside, Turner. Hibbert with the screen. Turner passes to George. That ball, nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got five assists in the game. Smith outside. Pass to Orr. Elijah on right side. Pocket six. Hill pulls it in. Pacers trail by four. He dishes it to George. George double team. Fourth against Hibbert. Outside Turner. Pass to George. West with the ball. He's defended by Elijah Wong. No good from West. Rockets leading by four. Smith outside. Elijah Wong against West. They shoot again. He lays it in. Elijah Wong's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Here's Smith. Oh, here we're picking up that last pass. Smith, the pass to Elijah Wan for Hibbert. And it's Elijah Wan missing. And so he'll bring it up for the Pacers. Four-point game. George, double team, dishes it to Hibbert. 103 left to play here on the fourth. Hibbert with a screen for Turner. They get it back. Goes up again. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. critical free throws. Nicely done. There's 49 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Smith outside. The pass to Elijah one. For Hibbert. Got it! Yeah, how about the killer pull of Elijah one? Loves to put the team on his back when the game gets tight. Timeout called the Pacers. They trail by three. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. George, it's nine seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Pulls up, high post, it drops, and that shot brings them to within just one. Oh, George loves 
loves delivering when the game is on the line at his absolute best. And he commits the intentional foul. George Hill, third personal foul, fourth team foul. At the line for the Rockets, Kenny Smith, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. A bit of heroics at the line right there as he bumps their lead to three and makes things a little easier for them defensively. And the Pacers call time here. They're trailing by three. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. second between the shot clock and game clock. Right side, George. Money! That's unselfish basketball. Opted to pass up his own shot and dish to a teammate instead. 15 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now they foul and stop the clock. Hey, you know what? Smart foul. You gotta try and extend the game. Shooting for Houston. Kevin Smith taking two shots. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Greg, this is all about execution. Can you free an open man from the three-point line? That's what it comes down to. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. And here's a timeout now from Coach Rudy Tomjanovich. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Maxwell with a screen on Hill. Here's Elijah Wan. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. a battle tooth and nail for four quarters and now we head to overtime should be a blast and here's Smith they've got Paul George West is out there with Roy Hibbert then it's George Hill and it's Turner in at the three spot outside Ori 
Now the dish to Smith. Shot clock at two. Over Hill. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Hakeem Olajuwon. That's his first foul. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A full team effort. Hibbert with a screen on Smith. Elijah Wan with the block. Smith with it. He's picked up by Hill. Pass to Maxwell. Turner comes with the double team. And here's Ori for three. David West grabs the miss. West has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Pass to George. Has to get it to Hill and does. To take the lead. And he lays it up and in. Hill's got the first points here in the overtime period for the Pacers. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Trailing by two. Pass to Ori. Up to the right wing. outside. Here's Thorpe. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And that's what we're used to him doing, but he really just hasn't had that typical impact offensively. If they keep getting him touches, this game won't be tied for long. Now here's Hibbert. West, and the stuff by West. And in these big moments, you want guys like David West on your side. This man is fearless. Smith against Hill. Outside, Ori. Elijah on the wing. For Hibbert, hands the 12 footer. Elijah has got 36. Oh, perfect execution. The size mismatch was there, and they went right at it. And it was timely. I mean, that's the basket they had to have, and an absolutely vital possession. There's the pass to Hibbert. Second chance effort. Elijah Wan grabs the miss. Elijah Wan. Hill against Smith. Passes it to Ork. Here's Maxwell. A floater. Here's Elijah Wan. And it's Elijah Wan with the jam. That's what he gives you. A big time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Out of bounds, Houston takes possession. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. Maxwell against George. Here's Maxwell. Five on the clock. Fork with a screen on George. Here's Maxwell. He can't hit that time. Excellent D there from George. Indiana trailing here. George, double team. Turner for three. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Maxwell with a screen on him. Pass to Elijah Wan. Over Hibbert. And Elijah Wan with the basket on the assist from Kenny Smith. Elijah Wan's got 40 points. Pass to screen on Smith. Hill passes to George. Nails the tray. That's what you expect from your leader. Paul George stays calm and doesn't get overwhelmed by the moment. Hill against Smith. Pass to Elijah Wan. It's in. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Timeout called the Pacers.
Here's Hill. Hibbert kicks to George. George double team. Outside Hill. There's the triple. Cranes the three. And yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to be on Kenny Smith. Free throw drops for Hill. As big a basket as that was, the free throw probably even bigger. Now you've got a two-possession lead all of a sudden. Timeout called the Rockets. They're down by four. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first overtime. And moving the ball around. And it's Smith missing. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he does get the second one. And that puts them up by five. On offense, here are the Rockets. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by five. 29 seconds left in the first overtime. Smith the pass to Thorpe. And Evan Turner pulls it down. And now we've got the intentional foul. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for two. George Hill. the first and that increases their lead to six. And a tough break is a second attempt at the line. No good. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. They get it again. Outside, Ori. From outside the arc, Huge shot by Ori. And, and it just seems like when things are close, you can count on Ori and that iconic clutch jumper to come through time and time again. And the Pacers call time here. They lead by three. Just two seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. 
for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Well, you love a guy who gets himself to the line, takes his time, and makes the free throws. Complete professional. So it's Indiana picking up the win, and they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. They yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire, but give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime, and, and this win has to feel satisfying. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, Paul George.